I will now show you how to select and arrange components and how you set its properties and rename them. Okay, if I want to move a part of this circuit together with components, I can of course select this part and move it. Sometimes you will see that you can make an error. Um, I will show you how. Let's say I select only part of the components. You will see that these are green rectangles are here are white rectangles. So only these components which are in the rectangle are actually selected and the others are not. And when I move this, I can make some errors. Let's say a short circuit and now the red triangle with an exclamation mark is shown. So please make sure that when you move components, you get a green tick. Okay. If I want to select um, everything, of course I can press Ctrl A. If I want to select a touching block, I can go from right to left hand side like this. And everything that is touching this block will be actually selected. So from left to right, I will have to go around everything to select them. From right to left, I can only touch them and they will be selected as well. How about renaming the components? Well, I can double click the name, the designator, and I can change it. R1, for example. I can also double click the component and change it here, R2. If I select here R1, you will see a problem because now two components are named with the same name. And you will see this red line uh, here uh, with these two components. If I now select here R2, this red line is gone. Now, what about this component here? If I double click, let's say if I change, want to change the value and I double click it, what you will actually see is I will change the component comment, which is equal to value. I don't want to do that. If I double click a value somewhere else, let's say here, I'm actually changing the value property of this component. So what's the thing here? What's the reason for that? If I click this component as a whole, you will get all the properties and you will see what is actually shown. A designator is shown, as you see here, and the comment is hidden. And here, if I go down, I will see that the value is also shown. So when I double clicked this 10 kilo here, I was actually double clicking the value. If I now go here, you will see that now the designator is shown and comment is shown. So when I was double clicking this value here, I was actually clicking the comment. So I have to hide the comment and I can show the value. And now I'm actually changing its value, not the comment. I can set the property for all the components. So I can click that one, that one, that one, that one. And I'm holding shift down so that I can select multiple components and I can set the properties for every component. I can show the comment, I can hide it. I can show the value, I can hide it. All right. What about the automatic renaming of components? That's also possible. Uh, these are under tools, tools, annotation. There are a lot of different annotation functions and you can explore them uh, if you want. Uh, I will first reset the designator. So everything that was set before will be reset back to question mark. Now all components are named with the question mark. Now I will go to tools again annotation and I will select annotate schematics quietly, which means quick and easy annotation according to the Altium preferences. Yes, and now all components are named from C1 to C, anything R1 to R4. Okay, and connectors as well. Now I set the whole schematics um, as I wanted. 